name's Matthew Baxter, I'm Senior Estates Engineer here at Airedale NHS Trust. Um, I've been in this role for six years now. Um, I look after many things around the hospital. Um, these steam boilers being one of them, which supply our sterile services department. Yeah, Airedale's been on this site since 1970. Um, I believe they started building it in the mid 60s. Um, it serves quite a large area, most of the Yorkshire Dales, um, even though we're only nine miles from Bradford where there are two other hospitals, we do have a massive catchment area because of where we are. The boilers supply plant steam to our sterile services department, which is then used to, through steam to steam generators to heat up what we call clean steam, where it uses RO water, which is then used in the processing that's done in the clean rooms. Um, we have theatre instrument washers, we've got endoscope reprocessing units and I think that's fine. Oh yes, of course we've got the autoclaves that they do the sterilisation in. So when I started here in 2009, we had three £20,000 an hour package boilers which supplied steam to the laundry which was in the area we're actually sat in now. About 10 years ago, the laundry needed a lot of work doing to it, a lot of machine replacement and stuff like that. And and about the same time they upgraded the electrical system around the hospital and part of that process they replaced the boilers with low temperature hot water heating boilers and they fitted a CHP in which can just about power the hospital on its own. The new install has been very reliable since it was installed. I think we had a few teething issues at first which is understandable. They were soon ironed out and to be fair we don't have much problems with them at all. We just, they just run all the time. We forget they're there a lot of the time. I believe there's a lot less maintenance involved with them. Um, they're fully automatic, they run themselves. Although the package boilers kind of ran themselves, they did need somebody watching them all the time, you know. And, and when they come for the yearly inspections, there was quite a lot of work cleaning the flues out and the tubes and all this lot. Whereas your engineers come and do the servicing on them now and the insurance inspector just has to see the coil pressurised and test the safeties and the gauges and that's it really. 